Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery from Microsoft Flight Simulator and we are in the sim working on our Fairfield Inn project. I just opened it up in the sim and uh, now it's not the buildings uh, project. I, I think I, I mentioned this in the last video. Um, I always make my building separate than my airport. Um, so if I make a change to one or the other, I don't actually have to upload everything at once. Um, so if I make just building updates, you know, that's a separate package than the airport. However, for ground textures and things like that, since I use aprons a lot, um, I do the ground textures using the airport package. So that's what I have. I currently have the uh, CMH buildings package in my community folder. And I've taken out the actual airport, CMH, John Glenn Columbus International. So I can edit this. All right. So we're going to open that BGL up in the sim load that in the editor all right so the buildings in this particular project um, we can't do any editing to the building because this is in the com the buildings are in the community folder however all the different airport features Parking spaces, uh, ground textures, that kind of stuff. Those are what we can work on now. So if I need to make any changes to the infrastructure of the airport, I can do that here. All right. So these are, if we look, here's our, here's our Fairfield Inn. And there's our signs that we added last time. Okay, so all of that's working. And there's our Hampton Inn. And uh, what was the name of that one? Yeah, Hilton Garden Inn. Those are the two other um, hotels. Now there's one right up here that I'm going to have to build. And that's going to be the Radisson Inn. That's fairly new. Fair, um, but anyway, so if we look... And these are default textures or default um, aprons that were added to the default sim. So we can play around with those and make those look more realistic. Plus this photo looks like it was taken during a uh, construction phase. Um, so that's something that we're going to have to work on and if i jump over to my browser here and i bring up my franklin county uh gis data that i like to use all right notice this is a 2021 aerial photo And we have some parking spaces here and see this is if you notice in the sim that this was all kind of like dirt kind of a construction phase all right so that parking lot needs to be constructed all right so in the next few videos we're gonna be doing this kind of stuff and remember now I'm using the airport file and not the buildings file all right so a lot of you guys will know how to use this stuff from previous experience but what we're going to try to do is replicate the look of this area here all right so i'm going to scoot that over to the other screen and i'm not going to do too much today just kind of introduce what we're going to be doing all right but i am fully in the sim so I hope everything goes okay. You'll notice that you don't see my picture. Um, 
plus there might be some lag you know that kind of stuff every time I record in the simulator um, so we need to let's um, simply let's just take this this apron that they have now this is default this is uh, right from a sobo okay I did not create this but if I select this apron and I just simply delete that one there's our ground underneath all right and that oh um, that pretty much looks like what it really is today okay now we can fix some things um, but um, we'll do that more in detail in the next video I'm gonna try to make this video kind of short but this is where you can go in and uh, like it yeah do the ground texture so I, so if you look at the Hampton Inn I've started the parking lot and I've started to put in some lines for parking spaces we're gonna basically do the same thing and the reason we're gonna be laying a uh, new parking lot uh, is because we get from the satellite images that uh, Bing is using you obviously have cars and that kind of takes away the 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 immersion because if you have a car in the parking lot like I have here and then you have the photo it, it just looks goofy you guys understand what I'm talking about right but for all intents and purposes our hotel looks really really good it really does um, got some uh, parallax going there's the pool in there you remember all that all right so let's add let's add in some rough um, apron I'm gonna select this apron I'm gonna delete that one because I don't want that one either all right so I want the what it really is going to look like and so this is pretty close all right now I could have kept that original matter of fact I think I'm going to do that so I'm going to hit a control Z and that puts this apron back then I'm going to hit control Z again and it brings back this one here uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys under uh, know that but yeah you can use the control Z just like there's there's a control Z in blender for undoing what you just did you can use that that's pretty standard Windows control Z edit undo type of stuff all right so you can control Z and get you know undo what you've done <laughs> okay all right so um so i changed my mind i do want to keep this outline because i don't want to have to recreate that we'll just make some adjustments to it but this one right here we'll go ahead and we will delete that one okay so that brings back our asphalt um, so let's go to let's select it and let's bring up um, right click hit properties out oh, properties is already up it's over here so I'm gonna drop down the properties and see we're using taxi asphalt so we're gonna go to the material editor and I'm gonna go to all and we are going to go to trying to think which oh uh asphalt asobo asphalt and i'm going to go ahead and click bitmap preview so i can just hover over and find out uh and look at the the uh asphalt or the the image that i want to use so we're going to go with generic three for now and i'm going to just simply left click and drag and drop that on my surface over here I'm gonna get rid of that little steam notification here 
All right, and then I am going to move that up one priority and you don't see much change in that in that uh, uh, there's something there's something oh it it's fine it's fine there we go I just had a it just a graphics glitch it's it's not a bug it's just uh, sometimes there's a delay on things but you can go in and start editing your um, your polygon so you can select a corner and you can you know drag that over to where you'd want it to be all right totally up to you I'm gonna come down here all right and then right here, I am going to, right here, right here, I'm going to right click and add a point. So right where I had the cursor when I did my right click, it adds an, an anchor point. And then I'm going to just kind of drop that down here. All right. And then I'm going to come over here where my cursor is, right click, and I'm going to add a point. And I'm going to select that point. And then I'm going to move that up until we come to this corner. Now, I'm just doing a rough. I'm just doing a rough in, basically. And then I'll go back and, and fine-tune that again by putting some radiuses and things like that. All right, so I'm going to come up here where this cursor is. Right-click, and I'm going to add a point to that polygon. Select the anchor and we can actually come up to this point and then I'm gonna right click at a point and then I'm gonna drag that over to this point and we can kinda go under that I think that will be fine actually is that what I want to do? No I'm trying to figure out what I want to do let's see let's let's come up here let's go right there and then add another point and then we're gonna drag that over here so I can get this little piece of asphalt there and then we're gonna come up here do the same thing end it right here and then we need another point add a point and we're going to add that right here. Let's add another point. All right, so basically that's basically what I'm doing. Is I'm just kind of reconstructing this polygon without, you know, deleting it. by just adding some points and reshaping this a little bit okay so let me finish this and I will be right back okay so I kind of finished that I mean it's not great I'll I'll fine-tune it for myself but for the video's sake we got the basic uh, asphalt in this area now I'm going to hit the alt key middle mouse button and I'm going to drag over here and I want to add in I want to fix this apron here okay because we want it to match our photo so if I bring our photo over okay so we, it, this is all brand new, okay? So this is all brand new. So we're just going to have to make some guesses in our simulator, all right? But it pretty much comes down and goes around like this, all right? So 
what I can do is I can keep this. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to slide this up. And then I'm going to right click at a point. Slide that over here. Little overlap. It's not going to hurt. That way I can. What was I going to say? I can uh, just use the other. Okay. Use the other line as a guide. Now I think it kind of comes down. It goes across here. This is this is whoops. this right here is uh, lawn, so to speak, so some landscaping. So I can add this point and then we're going to kind of cut this corner off like this and we're going to add and get a at another point drop that down here and there is kind of a strip of grass that runs along here um, this fence it looks like an old fence that used to be there all right so it kind of follows that so I'm going to drag this down and we're just going to kind of adjust these points and then there is uh, an entrance way right here so I'm going to take this one kind of come up here then let's right click and add a point actually uh, I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to drop this down here. I mean, there's an entrance point right here, but we want a base texture underneath that. Then we can overlay some, some objects to make that a little better. All right. And then basically the asphalt actually f kind of follows the curve. Sometimes you can't select a point because it's close to the current point that you have selected. So I just click away from it and then come back to it. And then select this one. And I'm going to move that up to here. Whoops. No, actually, that wasn't an oops. I did that on purpose. So I didn't goof anything up here. Right click at a point here. Obviously, I can't select that one because it's too close. So I'll select it again like that. Click off it. Got to select one over here. Select this one. I'm going to generalize that one and then I'm going to drop this straight down there I'm going to move this one then I'm going to right click and add a new point kind of bring that over and we're going to put it right here okay then if you want to give it your material, just change the properties, uh, find a material and drag it onto the surface. All right. So I'm at a good point where we can stop this video for today. So I'm going to save scenery. And I am going to come up to the package itself right here. Let's turn on the console. We have all this all this stuff here I'm going to um, previous messages in the console I'm just gonna hit the eraser and clear the console and then I'm gonna come up over to the inspector and this is 3.6 is what I'm making now so I'm gonna put a 6 there hit enter come down and build package and yes I want to rebuild it so say yes then it's gonna run my 
my console and here is my console right here and how did we do 87 skip three done zero failed now up here you'll notice that I have um, I have an, an error it's it doesn't cause my whole project to fail but it says asset group is nested in another one or already has been added and this is the content info all right even though I have an error up here it didn't cause it okay here's the same message here it didn't cause the whole project to fail it's just that I have two entries for content info in my XML all right the um, this is an older older package all right that I'm updating okay so there's probably something that I did and I just accidentally added a second content info in the in the asset groups all I need to do is select one delete it and then this error will go away but it's not causing my project to fail all right but I will clean it up all right so our build was good so we can close out our console and we can get out of the sim and next video we're going to do some more groundwork maybe add some trees add some lighting that kind of stuff all right so hey thanks for watching hey thanks for uh, your patience last week that i took uh, last week off to clear my mind and do some do some painting um, I'm doing some aviation painting uh, painting some triple sevens and 747s that kind of stuff just uh, uh, just to kind of relax and get away from a little bit of stress I think we all understand that so I took last week off of making videos I thanks for your patience and I will see you guys on the next video you guys have a great day.